The clinic will tonight will be <coughs> some trends in international basketball, uh, which which we've noticed over the over the last uh, 15 years or so. Today's clinic is for 15 years. And the offensive trends. And what we'll do is we'll teach the elements of these three offensive trends which make up most of the offenses that we see in international basketball today in both men's and the women's game. The first thing we're going to talk about, we're going to cover three things, and we should finish around about 8 p.m. And the three things we're going to be covering are turnout cuts. Staggered down screens, staggered double down screens. And we'll look at pick and roll options. And then we'll show you how these fit together uh, in an offense, just as an example of how these trends are emerging and, and how they're being run right now in basketball. So the first thing we're going to look at is, is a turnout cut. And I'll explain to you um, how these, the basis of this cut and what are the options. But also I'll refer to some teaching points that are important for teaching the players to understand how to execute these cuts in precise uh, detail. So why don't we get uh, up a post player, a passer and a wing player here. Let's get a, a basketball too. <coughs> Stand on the other side. Your pass from here, you're going to be the cutter. <clears throat> so we get the post player here to stand with his baseline foot on the high side of the block. So he's down in a screening stance. But he's aware of where the ball is. So this is the turnout cutting action and then we'll explain how we move this on as we go. So. Matthew now will cut across here, off the screen, and then he'll shape up to receive the ball from Joel. And then the post player will post up. So that's the action. Now what's the detail that's involved in coaching this? Ball back to Joel. So, we want to have offensive communication. So it's important for our players to verbalize what they're doing. And it does three things. It reinforces in the players' minds their understanding of the play. It reinforces the detail in which we expect this action to be completed. And it also tells us as coaches if they understand what we've taught them. So as Matthew's cutting off, there's some things we need to notice here. Just pause there. As he cuts off this, we talk about heel, the heel of the foot, the hip, and the hand. So he needs to have his heel near the screener's heel, his hip near the screener's hip, and his hand leading through on this so the defense can't come through. 
かかとと腰をまず並べることでそして最後に手まず最初に手でリードすることでディフェンスが間を通れなくなります。So he will now catch the ball and face the basket. でキャッチしてバスケットを見ます。And then he will call the first type of cut we'll have on this is a straight cut. So, so what's your first name again? So Sam will turn and face in, he'll be down screening. As Matthew cuts off, he'll be calling straight, because it's a straight cut. As he cuts off, Sam will call basket, because Sam is going to the basket. So come back and do it again. We'll go at the uh, Half pace, but yell out your uh, your calls. Down in good stance, Joel. Good. Good. Throw it in. You can score. Good work. Bring it out. So it's important here because we'll have a variety of cuts. As you would know, in all screening situations, there are at least four ways to cut. ここで大事なのは。どういうふうにスクリーンを使うかです。カッターとしては四つの使い方があります。We will always have an option for the cutter and an option for the screener. So there should be two options of every screening situation. でどのシチ,ュシチュエーションでもカッターにカッターのオプション、スクリーナーのためのオプション二つがあります。So we also need to have, after the cutting actions happened, good separation between the cutter and the screener, so the passer can identify two options. The cutter has to be able to get the ball 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 to be able to get the ball. Okay, so let's go a little bit faster now. Down, good stance. Good. Let's go one more. This is a straight cut now. Low in a stance. Good. And notice Matthew then did a good job of getting down low as he came off the screen. Hip, heel, hand. And came through and led. So the defense now has to make a decision on how they will defend the screen. The cutter is good. I said, the hand, the hand, and the hand are good. The defense is good. So 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 the defense is good. Okay, one more time. Let's go. This is a straight cut. Good. Ball back out again. Now, set up again. So now the defense may have, get, may have got caught on this. As I've tried to defend Matthew, he's come across here, so I'm trailing, and suddenly, straight cut, yeah. So he cuts off, and I get caught on the screen. So how Matthew cuts now, this is a very important phrase. The defense will be Matthew's instructor. ここで大,大事なあの言,い言い方があるんですけれどもディフェンスがカッターの一番重要なその合図といいますかシグナルですディフェンスをどう読むか How the defense plays on the screen will determine where Matthew cuts ディフェンスを読んでどこにカットするかを決めます So in this case the defense I'm in here just slow down a sec I'm in here, I've played him here on this even side of the screen so he can straight cut and go up. So now, I've been beaten on this once, so now if I move to the high side of the screen and I attempt to come over the high side of the screen, what Matthew will just come up a bit. Matthew now will flare to the corner and Ben, uh, Sam, I'm sorry, Sam will change the angle of his screen 
and Matthew will flare to the corner. And then Ben will pivot, open up, sorry, Sam will bear, open up, throw it in, and score. So now we have the call of flare because it's a flare cut. You will change your angle, then call basket after the pass is made. Okay. Okay, go. Good. Go again. Now, what, what Matthew needs to do is slow down his cut a little bit so he has a chance to read. So he may cut very quickly here, slow down and see. The defense is playing right behind him there. He can straight cut. The defense plays over the top. He then flares. So he slows down at the point of the screen slightly, recognizes the defense, and then slashes off. Good. A couple more times. Uh, basket. Call it out loud every time. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Okay. So, set up again. So now the defense does this. As Matthew gets to the point of the screen, I will now trail behind him and I'm endeavoring to get in his footsteps. So if I get caught behind and trail, Matthew will now curl cut. So he'll curl around tight on the screen. Again, you will call basket this time, you'll call curl and you will, you will pop, you will pop back. So now we have separation and two options. So now the defense is trailing the cutter. So if they trail, curl cut, pop the screener, the cutter will call basket because he's going to the basket. And this is why it's very important to have offensive communication. Because if Matthew got to the point of the screen and didn't yell out he was going to make a curl cut, Joel may think he's going to make a straight cut. As he curls, the pass would go out of bounds. So now it's curl and pop. Go. Good. Let's go again. Good. Go again. Call it loud. Call it loud. Now this time hit either the cutter or the screener. Go again. Call it loud. This is a curl cut. Good. Now, if we want to create some high low action, the fourth sort of cut we can make from this is an elbow cut. So again, the defense trails. Matthew now comes up the lane and gets to the elbow just outside the elbow. So the pass comes now. Ben reads his defense. Ben can either, sorry, Sam can either pop or 
he can go to the basket. So you, you make a read on whatever you want to do, and then you'll make the pass into Matthew. Elbow is the call. Elbow. Good work. One more. Okay, now, how would we build this up? If we were teaching it in, in uh, the best way to coach this. The first thing we would do is put defense on the cutter. So someone flip into white. Yep. Change into white. So now we would get the defense. Let's just uh, play regular so it'll be a straight cut. Now, to start with, the defense will play what we call 50% defense. So it's not strong defense, it's just to allow some timing and space to be taught so that Matthew can get a feel for the cuts. So you'll just play regular into him, it'll be a straight cut, you'll be late, and you'll still call everything. Yep. Sam. Okay, so 50% you cut off, go. Good. Let's go. Go one more. Good. And so there we saw, there we saw another example of how Matthew could get the ball and he can throw it into Sam. The pass won't always come from the person playing in the guard position at the top. The shooter, the cutter, can make passes into the post player as well. One more time. Good. Now, this time, we'll get the defender to trail Matthew. So now, it'll be a curl cut. You'll call basket, and Sam, you'll call pop as we go down. So you trail him. Away we go. What's his first name? Un? Anna. Good. So you can see that's tough. Anna was hard pressed to defend that, but it's a curl cut because he's trailing. Let's go again. Curl. Good. Now let's run a curl and pop. We'll run a curl and post up. So now what we're trying to do is this. If we want to run a special play, Arna might be in foul trouble. So we know that he might have four fouls. So we'd place him in this situation here where we run a turnout cut. Yeah, and curl. And now Sam would pop. Yep. Now, hold it there, send ball back out to now. But now, we're going to try and post you up right on the edge of the back, right up there. So now, if Arna has to play defense in there now, he risks a foul. Just wheel and go right hand. So Matthew wheels, it goes right hand, foul, out of the game. So it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. So the advantage of running these sorts of plays is you can set up people however you want, depending upon the defensive situation they're in. So as we build up 
The defense now, let's get another person in white. Quick, quick, quick. We'll now put defense on Sam. Okay, we've just switched, which is good. We've got like sizes on like sizes. So now, Anna is defending Sam. So now we have some specific footwork challenges for Sam. Just make a straight cut. Yep. Straight. Now, hold up. Now, all Sam needs to do is turn around, as the, is have a look and see what foot position Arna's feet are. So if his feet is on the high foot, he steps right in between his feet and reverse pivots on a post-up technique that way. And as you can see, he has both arms up, strong here, bent at the arms. So now Arnold will find it hard not to foul him when the ball comes in because he's such a big target. And we've opened up a shot automatically. Throw it in. So all Sam needs to do is turn and go straight at the basket. So the big guys need to be low because there'll be some contact in here. Okay, 50%. Let's go through that. Yep, same thing. Good. Good. Now, if Arna plays on the other side of him, just cut off again, Matthew. Okay, there's the screen. Arna now plays on the low side. So already, Sam's footwork is established. He just reverse pivots off his left foot. And now he's in perfect position to just turn and keep going and power to the basket. This is why it's important for the post players to set their screens with their baseline foot on the high side of the block. So then it opens up two options for Sam. He can go this way or that way, depending upon how Arna plays him. So again, let's run a straight cut. And now, Arnie, you play on the low side. And Ben, you'll, uh, Sam, you'll then do your footwork and away we go. I'll get this name right soon. Here we go. Good. So he can go over the top or if the defense shifts, he can just power straight to the baseline side. Now, the final cut that we teach out of this turnout cut series is a back cut for Matthew. Because now, I'll be Matthew. Matthew makes his cut and Darone, Darone you can defend here, Darone decides he'll get on the top side of this screen. So I stop behind the screen and simply pop back and get a back cut and score. Now on that you will call pop and you will call back. Okay? Good. And then again, Sam pops, and so we can get the pass from Joel into Ben or to Sam. And then Sam into Matt. I'll be with you, Sam.
Good. And of course, in this sort of a play, we would have a player in the corner, we'd have another player here, and we would shift the player up from the corner to allow this action to happen. And we have a back cut option for Sam as well. As Matthew gets to the screen and stops, Anna reads, is reading this, so he's concerned about the cutter. At this stage now, Sam goes to the corner, Matthew goes to the corner, and Sam simply you know, just steps straight in here, and up you go. Because he sees that Arna is starting to play back a bit to help on the cutter, he just steps straight in front, catches, and goes up over the front of the rim. So it's a back cut for Sam. And Sam would call basket, and Ben would call, and Matthew would call pop. I don't know where that name's coming from, but it's popping in there. Go. Good. One more. Good. Bring it out. So now the next stage we would play in this is we would then put, we won't do this tonight, but we would put defense on Joel and then play it as, as it were in a game. But to make it a little bit more exciting now, we'll let the players, you make your decision on what sort of cut you're going to make. Defense still only play about 50%, but you adjust the position you play and you adjust the position you play. Okay, so 50%, but not. Good, not bad. Late call though, Sam. Call it early. Wait for it. Good. Call Curl. Describe the. Yeah, just call Curl first on that because we'll know you're going to the hoop. Good, excellent. Good. Okay, nearly got you. One more. Choose. Ben, Ben, Ben. Good, excellent. Good job. Ben, you've got to keep an eye on this all the time so you know that once the defense goes. The next thing that becomes popular is a staggered double down screen. And with, with great shooters around now, there can be a variety of combinations that are in these staggered screens. There can be a, a big player, a small player, uh, the bigger player on the bottom screen, the smaller player on the top screen, or different combinations. So we'll get some demonstrators up now. And there are a couple of ways we can teach this, but this drill now is an excellent drill to be able to get lots of shots up, but shots for the two screeners and the cutter. Because on a staggered double, we now have two screeners and a cutter, and we need to demonstrate opportunities for all three. This 
シュートの練習にすごく有効なドリルですもちろんカッターにもシュートチャンスがありますしスクリーンをかける選手が2人いるわけですが2人ともこのドリルを使ってシュートができます And so while the drill will be unrealistic in terms of specific basketball play, it will be a good teaching tool to let both screeners and the cutter know there are opportunities for all of them. このシュートドリルは、えーまあ、100% 試合でその全く同じシュートが打てるというのは限りませんがとてもいいドリルです。So, to do this, we need three passes, two screeners, and a cutter. Passes get one ball each. Now, the passes will be over here because we've imagined you can set this up how you want. Come on down. In a good stance. Now, you guys will have to tune in right here. So, now. Matthew is going to be the cutter, and Thomas, Anna, Anna, are going to be the screeners. So, what's happened here is Matthew's down here as the cutter. Just come, just come in a bit. So, now the first thing we've got to do is talk about screening angles. If I'm playing defense on Matthew, And I'm going to be a good screener, a good defender. I'm not going to be out here because the ball is there. So I'm going to be in here. So while we're teaching this without any defense, we have to be realistic about where the defense will be. So, Thomas will need to be here and his back will need to be to the ball. Because now, to help Matthew read this, the defense must be forced to play the screen one of three ways to play on top, to play underneath, or to play inside the screen. And that will determine where Matthew cuts. Defense got. もっと中にいるため、最初のスクリーンはここよりももっと中に始めることが大事です。で、背中をボールに向けます。ここにいることで、ディフェンスはハイサイドを行くのか、真ん中にいるのか、下に行くのか、選ばないといけないです。And Arna will have to make a read as well, because his back needs to be to the ball as well. But what we'll do is we'll set him up just on the high side of Thomas. Rather than the low side of Thomas, because if it's on the low side, it will, it will take away the back cut from Matthew. So we'll set him up staggered on the high side of Thomas' shoulder. So he's down here screening. Back to the, back to the ball. Notice both players automatically have their hands here in a strong position because there's going to be contact. Their feet are wide, their knees are bent, and they're ready to brace for the defense to make contact. So simply we do this again. Matthew now can use a technique to set up his cut of this screen called a catch fake. I'm playing in here. So I see the ball, I see some screens here, I might play on the low side. Matthew keeps his knees bent but throws his hands up. So I think. There may be a pass on the way. It straightens me up out of my stance. But Matthew's lower, so he's quicker than me now. So. Cutter の大事,大事な元気があります。ディフェンスはここにいることで、まずすべてを見てます。で、カッターが膝を曲げたまま
手を上げますそうすると,するとディフェンスは一瞬状態を上げてオフェンスの動きに対応する反応するのが一瞬だけ遅れます These small details are very, very important. そういう細かい指示がとても大事です Because it allows us now to be very effective using the principles we've used from the turnout cuts into the staggered double down screens. So, this is the way that we use the screen. So, this is the way that we use the turnout series. So, this is the way that we use the turnout series. So, now, the players will now respond to this. Cutter, top screener, bottom screener. Okay? That's the order the, the passes are going to pass to. And this is the top screener. This is the bottom screener, the screener closer to the baseline and cutter. Now, what's the offensive communication we want from this? Matthew again will cut off Thomas and Arna's screen and he will make a straight cut. As I mentioned before, we'll only have one ball over there in a game. So we make this adjustment now because we have three. So Matthew will give a catch fake here and again we're using heel, hip and hand off both these screens. かかと、膝、手をすべてうまく使ってディフェンスが間通れないようにしてスクリーンを使うことが大事です。So he will come off the first screen and then he'll come off the second screen. Now, as Matthew comes off this, he catches the ball. We want on a straight cut the low screen Thomas to call basket and the top screener Anna will call pop. So now you'll hit him, you'll hit him, and we'll have three shots. Normally it'll be one, two, three, in that order. But it doesn't matter if it's all, all at once. So let's go back to the beginning. So So you can see there's a lot of detail in our teaching, but we must reinforce the detail with offensive communication. Okay, just go 50%. Down passes in good stance. Good. Good, let's go again. Ball's back out. Good work. Passes, get down, ready to pass. Now, it's important in basketball that we all learn to do this. Players must learn to take every opportunity they can to practice skills well. So every time these guys now make a shot or even passing back to the passes, it will be a very good pass. Because in practice, you can waste a lot of opportunities. I'll just roll the ball back or I'll throw it up here. Rather than make a strong pass every time. Because now in a game, when they have to make a pass, bang, it'll be automatic. The passes here need to be down in a stance. Sometimes in drills, the passers think, oh, I'm just a passer. The pass is the most important player in shots. Good passes lead to good shots. Now, not all the passes will be accurate at times because of the defensive pressure. Sometimes we only drill perfect shots. That doesn't happen in a game. We need to be able to drill passes to, to players that might be up here, they might be down, so they get used to catching and being able to shoot well. But these guys, in principle, here, down in a stance, every time you pass or move, it's done correctly. <laughs> こういう時こそ、えー、コーチングできるチャンスです。カッターにしてもスクリーナーの2人にしてもパス出す3人にしてもパスをしっかりいいバランスで出したり試合になったらここに出すかもしれない
ここでもらわないといけないかもしれないいろいろありますがこういう時でしっかり指示をしてください<笑> Well done <laughs> There's a lot of information there Okay, let's go with straight Straight down, ready to play Good, go まずストレートから Catch fake Straight, hop Good Good, let's go Pass it back now Good passes いいパス Jer, Thomas Good passes Down, let's go Good. Let's go again, again, quick. Now we'll go at game tempo here now. So Matthew, you can, you might catch fake, go, go slow on the first cut, accelerate off the second, change your, your pace, your direction, you'll see, because there's a range of things we can do off this depending on how we set it up. So, まず、早くカットして、そしてまた遅くいって、早く、先ほど言ったスピードを変える、そういうのを意識してください。Where we go? Good. Good. Bring it out, let's go again. Good. Here we go. Good. And notice also. Notice also the passers are calling the names of the players to whom they're passing. So again, without instructing them, they'll be very good coaches one day. Because automatically they're doing that. So now it gets communication happening between all the players. Because when pressure comes on in a game, the first thing teams often do is they are silent. When the pressure comes on, that's when your teams need to communicate best. To help each other play. Okay, away we go. Now, to even make this more realistic, now we've got the fundamentals of the drill set up. Anna and Thomas will now come to the top of the key here. Just there, one here, one in the middle. You're on the, the short elbow, I call this, where the, this one here. This is the long elbow, this is the short elbow. You will now, as if it were a game, you're now on the move down to set your screens. They're not already there. We now have a timing communication put in. And to teach these guys, the cutter in particular, to wait and not go early. Matthew is doing a pretty good job in timing his cut. I don't know what it's like in your basketball here, but cutters tend to go early. And there's a lot of blocking calls called because the cutters go early before the screens are set. So we need Thomas and Anna to help Matthew with his timing on the screen. So now to indicate they're going to set a screen, they'll just give a little clenched fist to tell Matthew there's a screen coming. As they get down, they'll be saying to Matthew, wait, wait, wait. Come to a jump stop, arms braced. Matthew knows now <coughs> the screening action is finished. And now he can cut. It doesn't matter how late he cuts because we're trying to get the defense to react and now we can react quicker. これで大事なのがスクリーナーの2人がカッターにスクリーンが来るよというアイズをすることです。で、スクリーンの位置に向かいながら待て、待て、待て、まあまだまだどちらでもいいです。で、ジャンプストップをしてこの位置まで来たら
but then it's up to Matthew to time his cut. So let's do that. You'll give the clench fist, the jump stop, wait, wait. Feet will hit the floor on a jump stop. You cut. We'll just go with straight cut at the moment. Okay, away we go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ball straight, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. And then what they can also add is go. Wait, wait. As soon as their feet hit the floor on a jump stop, they'll then call out go. So it's wait, wait, screen set, go. But it's up to Matthew to decide when to go. Yo. Wait, 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 go, go. Oh. 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 Go again. Yeah. Yeah, I know. See, what happens is people think faster is better. In some cases, Matthew might just make a straight speed cut off the first cut. But the second cut, he might wait because then other opportunities will open up. There might be a back cut, a curl cut, but we'll get to that in a moment. So the. So the basis of these screens and the effectiveness of the movement relates to offensive communication. And the precision with which we screen relies on the screening angles back to the ball, specific basketball agility, and the ability to read how the defense is playing the screens. Okay, let's do a couple more and we'll still stay with the straight cut. Wait, 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 go, go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Good. One more. Good passes. Good. Here we go. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Go, go. Good work. Now, a couple of other options from this, and we'll look at the ones for the screeners first. So Thomas is, oh sorry, go ahead. So Thomas is coming down to set the first screen. So now we see our screeners recognizing on how the defense is being played, but Matthew recognizes this as well. So he still makes a straight cut, and it might be what we call a sacrificial cut. Yeah, flare. Yep. And basket. Yep. And the, and, and the sacrifice that Matthew makes is he knows that his defender will probably be able to be with him and defend him and he may not get a shot. But we're setting up the shot for Thomas underneath because we know and we see in the game his defender is starting to anticipate. So we can run this play not for the cutter but for the screener. <laughs> okay, so let's go that back again. Arna, you're back a bit. Thomas, you're back. You're down there. Give you catch fake. Everything stays the same, except you're going to call basket, flare, straight. Down we go. Passes. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Now the hard shot to make on this 
Arna's shot when he comes off this flare here. He has to be down when he catches the ball. So it's a little tough in this drill because we've got three passes. But when you catch it, you be down because you're backing away. So you'll need to stop and then get some forward momentum in your shot, not fade away. Otherwise, your shots will be short. Okay, here we go again. Same thing. Where we go. Wait, 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 go. <clears throat> Better Anna. Oops. Okay. One more. One more, let's go. Here we go. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Go. Good, much better. Better shooting position. So, now we see this. Now we see the other opportunities that can arise from this. So we talk about, sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> the same is with our, curl, with our uh, turnout cuts. The same with any sort of cuts. We now have several options that we can run with this, depending on how the defense plays. So now we find, as Matthew's coming off these screens, his defender will start to trail. And Matthew can make a decision here. Hold up before you move. He's going to curl cut, but it may be off the first screener or the second. If he sees I'm trailing here, he may decide to curl there. So now we have pop and flare. Let's do that. <coughs> the parcels will get you. Matthew. We'll he will he, he, yeah. Sorry, Thomas will flare. Matthew will curl. And Anna will pop. Here we go. Wait, 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 go! Curl, curl! Good. Let's go, bring it out. Here we go, here we go. Same thing, same thing. So now, Remember, Matthew sees the defense is going to trail him on the cut. He comes down, so I think, okay, I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to lock and trail here. Cool. Matthew curls, pop, by the time I get here, Anna. we've had two other opportunities eventuate. Now, okay, so now we have this. Set your double down screen again, signal. Now, again, the defense is going to trail. So I'm the defender. I'm down. I'm going to try and lock onto Matthew's outside hip. He goes off one. I'm still trailing. He goes off two. Now he curls. <clears throat> Arna's popping. Thomas is flaring. Let's do that. Wait, 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 go! Thomas! Anna! Good, go again. Let's go! Yeah, wait, 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 go! Let's go! Yeah, Anna! Here we go. One more. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Go. Left. Oh. Yeah, Here we go. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Left. Yeah, oh. yeah Anna. Okay, now, here we go. <clears throat> you right. 
so now we need to make sure that we explore the other options. So now the defense comes to set a down screen. The offense does, I'm sorry. So now what I'm doing is I'm starting to anticipate. So I play on the high side of the screen, which indicates to Matthew now he can make a back cut. So again, on the back cut, you will flare, and Arna, you will pop. Okay, let's do that. Matthew calls out back. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Go. Yeah, Anna. Go. Good. Good work. Let's go again. Same thing. Back cut. <clears throat> yeah, wait, 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 wait. Go. Back. Clear. Go. Yeah, Anna. Good. One more. This is a back cut. The defense plays. On the high side of the screen, anticipating a tight cut, Matthew back cuts. We have a pop and a flare. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Back flare. Go. Good. Okay, the last one in this series. So now the defense on the on the double staggered screen now plays right inside the screen. And in this case, we have a, a very precise execution on this. And in this case, we'll only have one pass be made. Because now Thomas is going to change the angle of his screen. So now he screens me because I'm inside. Matthew is going to flare. Thomas is going to post up, call post. And Anna will now call pop. But we'll only have one passer because it's unrealistic in the game because where Thomas is now, he won't be in the game. He would be posting up here because you've set the flare. Here's the, here's the, part, here's the scorer. So when you set that screen, you'll post up right here. You'll turn around. Post up there, but Arna, you'll still pop. That's why we only have one passer here. See, the, the natural thing to do for Thomas is to still seek out the ball, but in fact the ball's over here. Okay, let's do that. Just the one passer. Same, same communication. Good. Good. Nice job. Go again. So now this, the defense on Matthew the cutter has played inside the screen. So the screens are coming down. I'm way inside here. So now we change. Now he's posted. Often the defense will race out on the high side, which gives Matthew a chance to change his angle and feed. Still post. Throw it in. Power that. <sighs> Okay, do two more. Wait, 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 One more, here we go. Loud communication. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go. Matthew. Push, push. Good. Okay, now, balls, uh, passes get ready. So now we'll have this. Go in whites, guys. Whites. Yep, it's quick. 
so now we'll have defense on the cutter and the first screener. Yep. So now they'll play 50%. You'll get off to the ball, won't you? Here's the ball. Normal defense, you'll be off. Okay. So we will now only have two passes in this. Because obviously Arna's going to be open all the time. He doesn't have defense on him. So work out who the passes are. Okay, now, you run whatever you want, Matthew, whatever cut you want. And Thomas and Arna, you react accordingly. You guys pass accordingly. It's only 50% defense. Play however you want. You recognize and make your specific cuts. Away we go. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Go, straight. Bad, okay, bring it back. It's all right, go again. Not bad. Matt. Here we go. Second. Second. Yeah, wait, 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 go. go. Now, an interesting thing happened then. Matt called curl, but it was a late call on the curl. So instead of getting the ball down here, he got it here because it was nearly a cross between a curl and a straight. So the earlier he calls a curl cut, the better. Okay? Okay, where we go? Yep. Wait, 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 wait! Go! Go, 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 go! Good. Good. Be down, Thomas. Be down low so you can get some legs and drive into that shot. One more. Here we go. Good. It's here, it's here. It'll be this. See, what happened there, we had some confusion because I'd given the cue to Matthew to, to make a flare cut. So we should have taken the other ball out. That's my uh, fault for bad communicating. Flare now. Yeah, wait, wait. Flare again. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go white. Let's go white. And uh, you defend Matthew. And uh, Sam, you defend Anna. And young Ringholt, you'll defend Thomas James. Okay. Yeah, just only two passes. So we'll cut the passes down to two. Now this is fairly game-like, but it's only 50% defense. Offense, you now, Matthew, make whatever decision you like, depending on how the defense plays, and adjust, adjust your defense as you play. Play it however you want. Okay, here we go. Good. Good job, Thomas. Good recognition. Uh, coach, we have another famous passer. Now, you guys work out who you're passing to. So, so now, we won't run any flare cuts now, but all the other cuts are open. You can run a straight cut, a curl cut, a back cut, and you can run a curl cut off the first or the second screener. And then we can just play as we go. So this will be fairly game-like at the moment, as it would be in a game. Okay, away we go. Good. Not bad. Okay, bring it back out. Here we go. Good. 
Good. Nice shot, Anna. That's better. Down low. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it, Anna. Here we go. Good. So now we can see the players are starting to enjoy a bit of competition. So now it becomes so now it becomes a bit of a competition for Matthew to see what will I set up here to play. For Thomas and Anna, they'll start to have a look and see what can, what can happen here because there's a further option we can have for Anna on this. Anna can slip if we see that Matthew simply wants to flare cut. We'll just, this is a little bit more advanced. So, if we set our double down screen now, and, and Anna sees on this straight cut that Sam is starting to come out to help on this cut, Anna can now slip straight to the basket underneath. And he just catch it and power it. So let's look at that. Yeah, just uh, no, no. We'll have all three passes. No, no. You just you'll 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 flare. Okay, here we go. Good, good. Okay, good. Go again. Go again. No, that's okay. It's fine. Just adjust it however you want. That's fine. Yeah. Here we go. Good. So, so what you can see now, you, you wouldn't run this with um, 12 or 13 year olds. Now this becomes a little more complex, but the offensive communication will help out the clarity of options. Let's do one more and, and we'll just explore and see what happens. Run whatever you want. Yeah, 50% D, yeah. Good. The next part is, is something that's been uh, been happening in basketball now, become very popular over the last 10 years, but even more so over, over the last uh, six or seven years. And it's, uh, there are various names for this, but we call it pick and roll, or on ball screen, or screen on the ball. So we call this pick and roll. And again, the same principles apply. In any screening situation, we have an opportunity for the screener, and in this case, it will be the ball handler instead of the cutter. So, again, there are some principles of play that we need to have here. And the first one for the ball handler is hesitation, evaluation, and then for both, it's separation. Ball handler is the most important Hesitation. the third one is separation. So that's what the ball handler and the screener need to be aware of in every pick and roll situation. Hesitation, evaluation, separation. Hesitation, evaluation, 
because again, we have to play with specific basketball agility. And that means sometimes speed will be good from the guard, sometimes the hesitation, the change of pace will be better. And now we have a, a more critical reason for the guard to, to go slow on this screen. And the reason being is because our screener, if the guard goes early before he's set, It'll be called a blocking foul on the screener. It'll be an offensive blocking foul on the screener because the guard's gone early before the screener is set. So again, we have the clenched fist, and this will be a pick and roll on the side. Sideline, pick and roll. We'll run it from here. Just so you're on the elbow. You're down here with the ball. The screen will come out. So he'll be calling screen, screen, wait, wait. Now the, the offensive player now sets up, so he's facing the basket. And now he can start to read the defense. So he's set to go. And the defense will play a lot of different ways here. To stop this player coming into the screen, the defense may play high or low or slide around behind or go underneath. But we'll handle that later on when we talk about options. So that's what we, we indicate with a, a screen or pick and roll on the side. Now the basic action is this. We'll send, baseline foot will be the pivot foot here, we'll send the dribbler over the top. So on two bounces, one, two, one, two, you get to the elbow, take a jump shot, you will roll with your belly to the ball, so now we've got two options and separation. So, we'll just show you this and then we'll break it down into the skills required for the ball handler. Okay, so you just go back and start your screening action again. Once he hits, you just power into the, and take a jump shot and you roll. Screen. Good, and what should you call when you go to the basket? Basket. Because there'll be options for the screener. Basket or pop will be the two options for the screener on these Again, the options that we run so we get good separation. Let's do that one again. Good, bring it out. So, what are the skills that the point guard needs to have to be an effective operator in a pick and roll. Pick and roll de na skill, to wa the first skill is he needs to have a one bounce and a two bounce jump shot. So we've seen the two bounce jump shot. The next one will be a one bounce jump shot. Two dribble no jump shot. One dribble kara no jump shot. Ga mazu hitsuyou ni narimasu. Yeah, okay. screen. Basket. Good. One bounce jump shot. Now let's go two bounce jump shot. Let's go. Stay with us. 
Good. Bring it back out again. Let's go two bounce again. Okay. One bounce. Let's go again. One bounce. Jump shot. Good. Okay. Now, if now we find on the screener, the defense now on the screener starts to play out wide and shows to delay the dribbler from coming over the screen but forcing the dribbler high so his defender can trail with him. Let's get a defender out in white. Yep, quick. You're on the, you're on the, uh, yeah, on the ball. So now, because it's been a good screen set here, I'm now going to play way out here to force the dribbler to go high. You'll follow hard and I recover back to the screener. Hold there. So the next skill we need to teach our guard, come back, is to go into the gap between the defense on the screener and the screener. So he's going to split this. He's going to go into that gap. So that it's a hard dribble, one dribble, then a low crossover, then either a one bounce or two bounce jump shot into the middle. So we. Screener no defender ga dribble o soto ni tagaku agetai toki ni yaru action toshite, mazu one dribble tsuite, futatsu me no dribble o hikuku. We won't have the defense in now, but we just imagine that defensive situation. Yeah. Screen. Good. And we noticed the screener then did a good job in popping because we had the ball handler going to the basket effectively. So we wouldn't want the screener going to the basket as well unless we'd set that up for a specific purpose. So in this, the screener would pop. So now we, get, we call this split. He's going to split the defense. Hard, crossover. So now, the next skill we have is we need to be able to pass to the post player. So we'll run that again, split it, and then on the pop, you'll get the ball, take a jump shot. Let's go. Screen. Pop. Good. Nice job. Let's go again. Screen. Pop. Good. Now, the defense now starts to adjust. I'm defending the ball handle now. So come and set a screen on me. Now I decide to go under the screen, go behind the screen. So now the dribbler has to step back and take a jump shot from behind the screen because the defender on the screener has decided to play tight on the screen so the defender here is now going to go behind. So effectively, there's a step back jump shot available for the shooter here. The dribbler now has to be low. Okay, away we go. Good. Now the, the shooter has to get down low and normally it'll be, as we're coming here, I come off the screen and then it's a step back, low and drive the shot. In this case, depending on the range of the shooter, we may have the screen be set inside the three-point line. So now the range isn't too extreme. But your range is there, that's not too bad for you. Good. 
膝を曲げて低く低い体勢からシュートを打つことです。Screw you, wait, wait, wait. Good. Drive it with your legs. Good. Not bad. So, now we find the next shot that we teach the guard or the ball handler is a runner. So, either, he either splits the defense or gets into the lane over the top. He keeps dribbling in, and the defense now starts to help. But normally the defense is fairly tall, so the runner has to be unpredictable. スプリット後、もしくは普通にドライブスクリーンを使ってペネトレートしてから今度はヘルプサイドのディフェンスが寄ってきますおそらく背の高い選手ですだから予想できないうまく読めないランナーが武器として必要です、so、3つの打ち方があります The first one is a normal layup footwork So I'm here squared up Again, as I drive off the screen, we have heel, hip, and hand. I come in here getting inside. So now I get in and it's one, two, and I shoot the runner. So it's. This is the same thing. The same thing 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 You're going to go straight up and shoot it up over the defense's hand. Okay. Screen, wait, wait, wait. Pop. Good. So, now we become unpredictable. So now we have to teach our handler to shoot off the right foot and the left foot. So if I'm coming in here and I get into my normal rhythm of bounce one, two, the defense can get into the same rhythm and anticipate to block the shot. So now I have to go up off a of one count. So I'm here, I come in, and I just go straight up off my left foot. And take that shot. Or the more difficult shot, because it's short, is I'm a right hander. So I'll learn to go off my right foot so I can't be predicted. So I come in here, I'm in, and then I'm off my right foot. As you can see, not too good. So we've got to teach the ball handle now to come in and bang straight up off the left foot first and shoot the runner. <laughs> Screen, wait, wait, wait. Four. Good. Good. One more of those. Right hand, it'll be up. And see, the defense can't read that. They're down defending, and suddenly he's up, the shot's away. We're too good. Go. Screen, screen, wait, wait. Four. Good. Same thing, a good call by the screen, a pop on that. Now it's off the right foot. It's only a short shot, so now unpredictable. Go again. Screen, screen, wait, wait, wait. Pop. Good, good. And you can practice that. It's, it's a pretty simple shot because it's a short shot. The defense is down expecting one, two, then suddenly you're up. One more off the right foot. Screen, screen, wait, wait, pop. Not bad, he, bit of variety, shot with his left hand off the right foot to get a bit of feel for that. So, what we can also do now for the screener, the screener can also slip the screen. After a while, his defender comes up, plays on the high side, such a screen. The defender comes up on the high side here. He sees this early. The defender's coming up here, so he goes straight to the basket. So now we've got to be able to make a, a strong pass because this defender will be up, so we can get an opportunity for the screener. Let's do one of those. We just call this slip.
Go again. Yeah, screen. Wait, wait, wait. Look. And of course, now the finish for the screener has to be one of power because on this, the defense will be all over here. So now when he catches the ball inside, it's off two feet or a strong stop to go up to avoid the charge, particularly if the defense is outside the charge circle. Good, good control, good. You might even take a bounce and change your angle to feed, but we've got to have opportunities for both. Okay, let's, let's now, we'll move on because we're coming, running out of time. We'll look at some three on three plays for, for screening, for pick and roll screens. So now, again, we'll run it from this side of the floor. Come out and set your screen. We have a player in the corner, be deep in the corner, which is a normal position for four out, one in, or three out, two in offensive play. And the reason we play three on three is because this defender in here can sometimes be lured to the ball. So if the, if the uh, dribbler goes over the top and the screen is coming in, this defender might be lured into helping on this roll as well as the people coming from this side. So when this happens, we get the guy in the corner, the player, to lift to the foul line extended 45. So now he either gets a shot or if the defense hasn't adjusted properly, we run it to get the ball inside. Okay, so let's do that. Where we go. Screen, wait, wait. Basket. Good. Good. So we can run a pick and roll for the post with an indirect pass from another player, not the ball handler. Where we go. So this is. Now we may have this. We might have a post high and a post low. Ball there, so now you're in the low post. So now, as we run the pick and roll, we empty out this post player because now, well, let's say you're going to come, whoops, still go that way. Now we're going to empty you out to the other elbow. And the same, and the stay there, and the same thing happens. If when you roll, you post up underneath, you can't get the pass in here. You hit the other post at the elbow that's a free throw. His defender must come, and now we go high low on that. Where we go? Yeah, screw wait. Not too bad. Let's go again. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, just sprint up there. As soon as, as soon as he puts it on the floor, you're away. Screen. Wait. Good. Good. Not bad. Now, come out again. Now we can also have a screen the screener if we have a low post in this position here. And the, this post player will be screening this post player once the screen's happened. So as we come off this screen here, 
I might have come out to defend this. You will now, you will now come up and screen me for the pass over the top, and on this you will now pop, and you're going to the basket. Okay, away we go. So there's a hard show. He goes. He screens. And there's the action underneath. Now, if what happens, do it again. If now the defensive player Arna stays back to stop the lob. Let's go up. Come off. Screen the screener. If Arna stays back at this and they switch it, now what happens here is you just open straight up and seal him. Now we have a pass inside here. You can throw it in there. We've got one on one inside or we've got a shot here. Let's go. Bring it out. Good enough. Okay. So you can run a lot of plays that you can make up yourself, but in this play, let's do this. We've got two low posts. We'll have the dribbler dribble at the wing. And then you'll cut off two turnout cuts here. So turn and face. That's one turnout cut. Another turnout cut. And you'll come up. <clears throat> and then get the get the shot, the pass to him. Now, if you stay in the post, but now you drift down low, you turn and set a screen here for Joel. You set a staggered double here, here, screen away. Joel comes off that. He doesn't get that. So James, you'll go to the basket, but you'll stay. You'll pop. Now you come out and set a pick and roll. And then on this pick and roll, you'll lift. You'll get to the corner. You'll be, you'll be about here. And so we've created an option inside. So when we put those three things together, in any order, it doesn't really matter. Let's run through it again. And we can make up different sequences. So away we go. There's the turnout cut. We get the ball on. There's the staggered double. Good. There's the pick and roll from the side. Okay, let's run it the other side. Let's run it the other side. Now these players haven't seen this before. So they're doing a good job to pick it up and we can sequence it however we want. Let's go again. Okay, let's go. Turn out, you're at the top. Good. Stagger double. Wait for it, wait for it, good. Now let's... Now, let me ask you this question. We spent a lot of time on offensive communication. What words were said by the players in that sequence? Let me answer you the question. Zero. Zero. Because once we, the players do a good job in the drill, but when we put it together, they haven't run the drill first, so to be fair to them, they're thinking about where to run. But the offensive communication needs to happen in every drill, every time, and being reinforced by the coach so it becomes an automatic behavior. And the better basketball teams around the world do this. They communicate extremely well. So now we'll do it again. We'll run it this side with the offensive communication. So just keep it at a reasonable pace. And let's talk about the screens. Wait, wait, go, straight, flare, curl, basket, pop, as those circumstances arise.
Good. Now, the slight hesitation we had with some of the players early on because they weren't sure of this, now was less because they were being coached by each other. And this is the ultimate test for us as coaches. Can we get the players to coach themselves in games? Can we thank the players? They've done an outstanding job tonight and being great demonstrators.